Good morning. I want to do a quick video about updating a next book uh, 10 um, to Windows 10. Um, I'm going ahead, I'm actually forcing the update. Um, you can do that if you go to uh, Microsoft.com, um, click on Windows 10. I have to click on a few different links to get here. Um, don't know how long this video will be, just right here at the outset. I haven't done this yet. This is the first time for me. But I wanted to show people the process. So, this, I'll probably break this up into a few pieces. No point in having you wait as it downloads the um, updates. So, we're at 1% right now. And I will update once we hit 100%. Alright, so it's at 98%. Um, what I catch it for, got all the way to 100%. I, uh, it's taken about six or seven minutes to download, is all. Now, I do have really fast internet, but what that means is that uh, it's not currently being um, throttled on um, Microsoft's side, which is, I'm actually quite surprised. I'm, sure it's I'm in Arizona we're on Pacific time so it's already seven o'clock here ten o'clock Eastern and I would figure that a lot of people um, are already working on this of course um, it'll probably be worse um, after 5 p.m. Eastern since a lot of people will be getting home um, so I will I'll see on my uh, other system when I get home. I may or may not do a video on that. So, as you saw, it went through downloading, it went through uh, verifying. Now it's creating Windows 10 Media. So, we'll give this a few more moments and I will update um, once it. Um, it has finished this portion that it looks like it's going to take a few minutes as well. Again, this is on my next book, 10. So this is a fairly slow system. Um, I did do a fresh wipe on it the other day. I haven't installed anything other than Windows 8 updates, hoping to force it to pull the update, which it did not do. So I went through and am doing the update this way. So again, I went to Microsoft.com and clicked on um, Windows 10 which allowed me to do the update and it's at uh, 13 percent so yeah we'll give it a few moments and uh, I'll update when it gets to in the 90s thank you alright so I got up to about 60 70 percent uh, preparing media and now it popped this screen where it looks like it's about ready to start installing. I'll keep the video up just because it looks like this is going to go pretty quick. So far this uh, process has been pretty pretty easy obviously. Just uh, click next just a couple of times. Check for updates again. You can see me in my reflection. <laughs> Close 
this. Oh, there we go. Accept. Choose what to do or what to keep. Because I wiped it, so not a lot to for it to keep. Not much on it at all. updates you'd think that the uh, initial download uh, on day one would have all the updates that it needs I'll let it do its updates looks like it's going to take a minute and I will keep recording after it is done updating all right so we're not quite 20 minutes into the whole process um, and we're just about done with uh, I think this is like the second or third time it's checked for updates yes I am I am ready to install there I wouldn't have asked you to install if I wasn't Alright, ready to install. Go ahead and hit install. Alright, so now we're to a uh, installing Windows 10 screen and this will probably take a minute so I'll go ahead and stop the recording now and pick back up when it gets further along. Alright, so it went from that previous screen uh, and then rebooted and when it loaded back up it's, we are now on this screen. Um, it says copying files 3% down below and I believe that's probably the overall process it looks like there's three three steps uh, copying files installing features and drivers and configuring settings so we will sit back and relax at this point we're about about 35 ish minutes into the whole process so um, update uh, once this part is done Alright, so it is now just barely clicked over from uh, upgrading. Go ahead and hit next. Just use Express Settings. New Apps Windows and just finalizing settings. And it's just loading up now. One of the reasons why I did my next book 10 is it is not a fast machine. Make sure my kids. I'll type in my password here. Make sure you can't see my hands. Let's see if I can remember my password. Alright. Just realized my email address was on there. You're welcome to email me if you have any questions, but uh now, uh, total process is pushing about an hour and a half. And again, I specifically use my next book 10 because I figured it has, of all my machines, it has the slowest processor, um, has the least amount of memory at one gig, um, has this, you know, I guess a normal spindle hard drive would be uh, maybe slower than it. Um, but most of my machines have an SSHD or an SSD um, to allow them to be much faster so it's just screens brightening and darkening a little bit as it loads I'm sure that's just their way of telling you it's loading I don't know if that's coming through on the video
once the uh, system loads up, I'll just run through some the start menu and, and a few other things. It's a fairly clean system. I um, I did install Chrome on it um, before I uh, or after me after I reformatted it. This is taking a minute. I'll go ahead and stop the video for now and pick back up once it uh, gets past this point. All right, so that did take a few few minutes to uh, come up. Again, this is a slower system, um, but just to go over a quick few quick things. First things first. Click on the start button, and we have the new start menu. Looks like we have uh, Cortana on there. There's Microsoft Edge, and these are probably just blank spaces to add applications into. Ooh, and they include Solitaire. You know, that was something funny that they didn't do in uh, Windows 8 is there was no native uh, card game app. You had to download. Cortana, this is something I use quite a bit on my uh, phone. I have a Windows phone. I have a Lumia uh, 640, which is a really good phone. Um, there we go. Let's get putting in a nickname. Oh, we'll mess with that later. So go back to start menu, um, get started, get Skype, maps, people. Have the store, supposedly the store was updated. Oh, this is nice. Um, one thing that uh, drove me nuts with um, Windows 8, especially on a non-touchscreen non computer, if you opened up a, one of the Windows 8 apps, the Metro apps, um, it opened, let's just do mail, it opened uh, you know, a completely new window. Now, um, it did improve a little bit to where if you didn't have a touch screen, um, you could get this bar up here. But on a touch screen, um, you wouldn't get that bar where you could minimize. But now you can resize it. Um, down here at the bottom, uh, can you shrink this? A lot of room. Lock. Unlock it. Can you, that allow me to? No. See if I can resize that. What's this button? Task view. Oh, okay. Um. We'll play around with a little bit more, but on a slower system. Uh, again, this is next book. Um, Ten. It was a hundred and eighty dollar laptop about a year, year and a half ago. And um, it uh, isn't the fastest processor. It's a, got an Atom processor, and it um, only has a gig of RAM. So I installed the 32-bit version of um, Windows 10 on here. Um, this pane right here looks very much like the pane that the pane that you see on Windows Phone. Um, in fact, it's almost identical. So I'm really lo looking forward to when I can update this to Windows 10. There's some functionality that uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, specifically being able to message on this and then being able to switch to the phone and then back to this. Um, then uh, list of all your apps. Yeah, this is just like how Windows Phone has been. Here's, here's your thing and then you swipe over and it, it looks very similar to the start menu on uh, Windows 10 now. So that's actually, I, like I said, I have I did play with the preview before, but it's changed significantly um, since the preview. So um, it's already updating. So looking forward to seeing the difference between the two. I may do a comparison of the 
um, Windows 8.1 for the phone and the um, Windows 10. I know Windows 10 for the phone isn't going to be coming out till later this year. I want to say like November. So that that is the full process of updating to Windows 10 on a Nextbook uh, 10. Um, it should be very similar to any other machine out there. Uh, process again took about an hour and a half. If you have a question, feel free to ask. Will.